Hello, thanks for watching. Edward Keat here, and I'm going to do another Camtasia tutorial. Um, this is a sort of a follow-on from my previous video, so if you haven't seen the previous video yet, I would recommend seeing that because I'm talking about certain technical things in Cam in this one um, that I'm doing in Camtasia that covers sort of animations and stuff. So if you don't know how to sort of add in an animation into your into your Camtasia timeline, watch the previous video because I show you how to do it in that. I'm not going to show you how to do those things in all the videos, all the video tutorials. So, you know, you want to, you'll want to get up to speed a little bit. So, um, you know, this is the second part, basically. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do zooming methods or techniques. I did the, I did a zooming uh, animation in the previous one, which sort of does a sort of a 3D zoom and pan effect that's really, really cool. And it, and it allows your it allows your viewers to see exactly what you're doing on screen, but it uses a very fancy zooming in method that looks really cool. Um, and then in this video, I'm going to do another style of zooming in that looks very cool as well, but in a very different sort of way. So you've got, you know, you can mix mix these techniques together and make some really nice uh, demonstration videos. So let me just show you in the video here um, exactly what I'm doing and then um, what I mean, and then and then I'll just show you how to do it, basically. So uh, check this out. Hi, thanks for watching. Just want to do a quick tutorial on how to navigate the new YouTube. Um, they've changed things a little bit. So first of all, you've got the menu over here on the left-hand side, um, and, and you've got the, the search bar at the top, obviously. That hasn't changed. Uh, but where it has changed, if you are uploading videos on YouTube, right over here, if you just click on your icon here, if you're logged in, you'll see the, your, your icon picture. Just click that, and the the menu drops down. Where you need to go to now is the Creator Studio. So where, when you click that, you'll be able to uh, navigate to your Creator Studio area. In fact, let me do that right now. And you'll see some of the videos that you've recently uploaded. You can view them all if you just click here and uh, immediately manage those videos that you've recently uploaded right in there. You can upload new videos in here. That hasn't changed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Bye for now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do all that. Um, so I'm just going to open up um, Camtasia. Okay, hold on a minute. Here it is. Okay, so I was getting a bit confused with Windows because uh, obviously it's not very easy to record your screen uh, using this very software that you're actually recording the, t the tutorial on. <laughs> so you get a bit confused of the different Windows. Um, so this was the, the video that I just showed you. Um, you know, how the elements pop out and stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really just gonna basically focus on showing you how to do the pop out part. I'm not gonna make this video too long, um, and of course you can take it from there. I might, I might cover how to do the, um, you know, the blacking of, you know, the darkening of the background and stuff. And obviously you can put in visual effects like shadow as well, um, and how to animate it so it goes, so it pops out like that. Um, so anyway. Let me, let's begin. So I've got a piece of footage right here that I've just recorded before um, that I'm going to sort of use to edit. <clears throat> so here's your, you know, visual area. This is, this is where you're going to be able to sort of follow along the timeline. Um, so you need to navigate to a point where, where you want to start editing. So I'm just going to play the video. YouTube channel and you've probably seen this before. However, this is what, um, Okay, so I'm just going to do it around here somewhere. Um, and uh, what you need to do now, is obviously, is create a duplicate of this footage, okay? Because we need two layers. Because what we're going to do is we're going to crop the, 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 the top layer, okay? So I'm just going to copy this layer, okay? And um, then I'm going to paste that. Mm, well, anyway, I'm going to do... Control C, Command C on a Mac, but you can copy it here, and then I'm going to paste it above. Okay, so so you've now got two identical bits of footage that you want to edit. Now, in your case, you're probably going. This is all you're going to have in there. I mean, you don't. You won't have this there. Um, 
So I'm going to make sure I'm at the right point. Subscribers are going to see. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just start there. So now that we have two layers, I'm going to crop the, the top layer. Okay, so you just go to the crop tool at the top here, and then you just crop wherever you want to kind of sort of enlarge um, or highlight, whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes, you know, if depending on what you're demonstrating, if you're just demonstrating a specific menu or a button, then you might want to make the cropping specific. And then you can do that by simply zooming in. Um, and then you can use the hand key to sort of move around a bit to make sure that the cropping, go back to crop, um, make sure that it's right. But I don't think this, since it's a, it's all com just one complete ba white background, it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I just don't know why the... Seems to be all right. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems to be pretty good. So it's it's you know it's very important that you do your cropping before you start animating. Okay. If you if you want to know more about animating, watch the previous video. But I'm just going to show you briefly about uh, how we're going to be animating this. But in my previous video, I did show you how to actually, you know, I told you a little bit about the animations and the basics of animations and stuff. So if you want to get up to speed, go and watch the previous video. But anyway, the animations are all in here and I use a custom animation. So I just drag that into the exact point where I want to start. And you can shrink that so it doesn't take too long. I'm not sure why it went in there. I'm going to delete that one there. So we just need to animate the, the top frame because basically what's going happening is we've got two layers here. Okay. And I'm going to go to the arrow area. So basically you can do anything with the top layer. Okay. So basically what you've done is you've cut out the top layer. Okay. And anything that you do here, I, you know, it's, <laughs> it's probably, there you go. You, it's, it's already recorded the animation. So that's why I say you've got to be really careful um, to you make sure you do all the cropping before you start animating it. Because even you know the cropping will be recorded in the animation if you if you if you if you do the cropping after you've um, after you've added the animation. Okay. So now what you do is you just simply enlarge it. Um, it's as simple as that, really. So if you just play that. And see. This video here, um, and you, can you know, it's up to you. You might have, I, I might have just cr um, cropped right just to that video because that's really what I'm talking about. So, but it, you, you get the idea. And then, and then what you do is, you know, now that this is on red, which is the, you know, which is basically recording. It means it's recording all your movements. And all I've done is just to enlarge it. So anything now from this point, you can just add in a visual effect, for example, and you can put in drop shadow. So now you've got a sort of a, a drop shadow. It looks quite cool. Um, but notice how the drop shadow stays there because this whole this whole layer is sort of one piece. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the starting point of where your animation starts, and then you just want to simply cut, split at playhead. Okay, and then really you can just delete that part, and it doesn't matter. Okay, so now the uh, shadow has gone because it's 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 it's, it's not part of the it's not part of the the, the block. Um, now, the next thing you want to do is you want to um, this video here, um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil. The next thing you want you probably want to do is to restore that. So go back to animations and go to the restore. Um, so it sends it back to where it was. So let's have a play. See um, this video here, um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil icon. Uh, but again, you know, we still got the shadow around the edge, which we don't want. So go back to, you know, you you go back to the point where it's actually finished the animation completely, and you don't need to do anything in from with that anymore. And then again, you just split. Uh, hold a minute. You just split split at playhead. You can you can actually ma um, right mouse click anywhere you like on this timeline it, because it only splits at the playhead. This is the playhead right here, so it just splits it. Okay, notice it split right at the perfect point. 
So, but we still got the shadow because this element has recorded the shadow, uh, the shadow before we split it. So we need to take that out of the properties. Okay, this is the property window. So you just delete that. Okay, but it doesn't affect this block. Okay, because this is now a separate block. But don't don't delete this bit yet because you might want to do more kind of uh, highlighting further on. So don't delete this this next block first. So let's have a look. Um, and you can also view your uploads. As okay, well let's. Now I'm talking about viewing the uploads. So let's crop this part. Go back to crop, and then change the um, crop area. I might as well just do that. Um, to there and add in a custom animation again to that point and you might want to shrink that it's up to you I'm gonna shrink that as well what it what it does the animation what by shrinking the animation there it actually what it does is it do, is it handles it faster it just goes through the animation time uh, much much quicker uh, <clears throat> Okay, but I haven't added any animations on here yet, so I just go to the point at the end of this where, it, and then you select it, put the the um, playhead right on the dot here, so it goes red, and then nav navigate to the uh, arrow key, and then just enlarge it, and then just center it up. Okay, and then that's it again. You've done it. There it is, animating. The only problem, the only downside of this is that I, I immediately, I immediately um, browse up, which is a problem. So you've got to be careful. You know, this is just a demonstration. So you know, if you're gonna, if you're potentially, you know, you've got to be thinking when you're recording your screen. You've got to be thinking ahead. You've got to be thinking. Um, you want to just stay on the on the on the screen. Um, and not navigate, not sort of move your move your window up and down. Notice the window is moving up and down. It's going to cause a bit of a problem. There there are some tools in here that allow that allow to cover the handle that, but I'm not going to do a tutorial on that because it's pretty pretty complex. I'm not 100% sure how to do it. Um, but I think you understand what I mean. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move that slightly to this way a bit. Let's just play it. Uploads as well. So this, and before it, before I scroll, try move it a bit more. Before I scroll the the window, notice how I'm scrolling the window. Before that, I scroll that. I'm going to put in the restore point. I think it just, I just, it's just, we're just sort of safe. Uploads as well. So this is basically. <laughs> well, it. it, it the animation went through it a bit too quickly, so if you're going to be doing this, you're not going to want to do it like that. But uh, um, anyway, I'm just going to go to the first part there, and just I'm just going to split the playhead there. Go there, split the playhead. Um, I'm going to do the same for the bottom one, and I'm again for the bottom as well. Um, I'll show you the reason why I'm splitting the playhead at the bo the bottom layer as well, um, and I'll do it for here as well. It's important that we do that. Um, because I want to add in the shadow in the background. I think I've lost my place. I think I've done it. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to put in shadow in the background. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Sorry. Okay, that's it. So I'm now going to go to visual effects and I'm going to put in window spotlight. I'm going to put it at the bottom layer. The reason, so the reason why I had to split the playhead at the bottom layer as well is because I want I don't want the whole 
the whole um, the whole everything else to be dark because if you don't split it it means everything is going to be dark but only this section needs to be dark and then I'm going to do the same here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the window spotlight because every time you add in visual effects and all kinds of things um, the properties updates and you get a little um, area where you can add you know your property so I'm gonna just make it a bit lighter um, and you can also blur it slightly blur the black background as well slightly so you know this is the thing that you need people to pay attention on so let's play that so we're going to see um, this video here um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil icon now you might find that that's enough, however what I sometimes like to do, and it's totally up to you, is I like to go to transitions and put in a fade into the background area, so it fades the the, shad the, the background. But this is going to be too long, so you can actually shrink that. So notice now, going to see. Um, notice how it sort of fades, the, the dark fades, and then you can do the same for the other end as well make it quite small so you know you don't have any weird stuff going on <clears throat> and then you can do the same on this side so let's play that then this video here um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil icon um, and you can also view your uploads as well so this is basically okay um, a few other things you can do um, <clears throat> so, I mean you can what I've done is I've already added a drop shadow and I think the drop shadow is very good but uh, if you'd rather rather than a drop shadow alternatively you can play around with the drop shadow and you know you can you know, you can change the depth of it. If you can see the shadow in the background, you can add, add in a bit of blur or whatever. Uh, you can change the opacity. So it just makes it look like it's raising. So have a look at that. I'm going to see um, this video here, um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil icon. So I, I think that's pretty good, but um, the other things you can do with drop shadow is you don't actually have to have a, a drop shadow necessarily. Um, instead, I've lost my shadow, there it is, um, instead what you can have is you can make it central, the angle central, and you can change the color uh, to make it either white or red or something like that or even yellow. Um, and then you can make it blur right to the end and also opacity right to the end as well. So then it sort of highlights it instead, rather than being a shadow. Going to see um, this video here, um, and you can... um, or I don't know, wind white might be better. It's up to you. So I'm going to see um, this video here, um, and you can edit that by clicking the pencil icon. So yeah. That's how you do it. So I hope that was useful. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to do the actual, um, you know, the angling and stuff. You know, if if I just remind you what I did in the previous video. So yeah, notice yeah, notice there. I did um, you know the kind of like three D sort of tilt, the way it sort of tilts three D. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video because I already showed you how to do that in the previous video So you'll learn how to do that on the previous video Okay, so this video is really about the sort of the raising of the you know the effects like in this way So I hope you hope that hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll do some more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye for now